the slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. I don't have a slow up. A humanoid no, robot just shit. did your laundry. No Not in a lab, in a real if home. You play tough and Figure AI's this. CEO dropped the video and the internet lost it. But that's just the start. What if I told you, China's newest robot can deadlift, do kung fu, and swap its arms like Lego. Scientists built artificial muscles so lifelike, they power a kicking, volleyball-smashing robo-leg. And a literal AI just enrolled as a PhD student to study opera and acting. Oh, and YouTube's new AI is about to decide if you're adult enough for your own account. Yeah, let's break it all down. All right, let's talk about Figure AI's latest flex, because yes, their humanoid robot, Figure 02, is now doing laundry. Not in some controlled lab demo, but in an actual home setting. CEO Brett Adcock shared the footage on X, and honestly, it's wild to watch. The bot grabs clothes from a basket, loads them into a washing machine. No full automation yet, but come on. That's still impressive for a machine that looks like it walked out of a science fiction movie. Now, the brains behind this operation? Figures Helix AI. This thing unifies perception, language, and human-like understanding to control the robot's movements. And it's not just a one-trick pony. Helix can manage multiple robots at once, enabling collaboration between them. Adcock mentioned they've been testing Figure 02 in office environments for over a month, doing the same laundry task repeatedly. The fact that it's now working in a real home, that's a big deal. But here's where it gets even more interesting. While Figure 02 is already handling industrial gigs, like working at BMW's South Carolina plant, lifting plastic bags, and sorting items on conveyor belts, the company is already teasing Figure 03. Details are slim but they're hinting at upgrades in mobility, smarter AI, and the ability to handle more complex high-stakes tasks. Think medical assistance or hazardous environments. So yeah, we're not just looking at a laundry bot anymore. This is shaping up to be a full-blown, multi-purpose humanoid. And let's not ignore the competition. Boston Dynamics Atlas is out here doing parkour, and 1X Technologies is working on Neo Gamma, another domestic-focused humanoid. But Figure's approach, starting with industrial applications before moving into homes, feels like a smart play. If they nail the home trials this year, we could be looking at the first wave of truly useful household robots. Switching gears to China's LimX Dynamics, because their humanoid robot, Ali, is basically showing off at this point. This 1.65 meter tall bot is designed to feel like a general purpose assistant, and the demo reel is a trip. It starts with Ollie lifting dumbbells at the gym, because why not? Then transitions into performing Chinese Kung Fu with a human trainer, balancing like a pro. From there, it shifts to warehouse mode, sorting items with scary efficiency. The real standout feature? Modular arms. Ollie can swap between standard hands, grippers, and dexterous attachments depending on the task. That flexibility makes it way more versatile than your average single-function bot. And for researchers or developers, LimX is offering an open SDK, giving full access to sensor data, joint control, and task scheduling. Basically, they're handing you the keys to customize this thing however you want. Price-wise, the base model starts at around $21,800, which, in the world of advanced humanoids, isn't terrible. There are also the EDU and the Super model. But here's the kicker. If you spring for the EDU version, LimX is running a promo where the first 50 buyers get a free Tron 1 bipedal robot. Because, you know, one robot just isn't enough. This isn't LimX's first rodeo either. Earlier this year, they showcased their CL3 humanoid, which pulled off complex movements like parallel squats and controlled lying down motions. Ollie feels like the next evolution, more refined, more capable, and way more fun to watch. Whether it's dancing in downtime or recovering its balance after being kicked, yes, they tested that. This bot is built to handle both work and play. 
So while Figure's robots might be gunning for your laundry room, Limex is out here proving that humanoids can be just as dynamic and entertaining as the real thing. Let's talk about something that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, but is actually happening in a lab right now. Robots with artificial muscles that move and react almost exactly like humans. Northwestern University's engineers have cracked the code on creating soft, flexible actuators that give robotic limbs the ability to push, lift, and even kick with startling precision. The key to this breakthrough lies in something called handed shearing auxetics, 3D printed cylindrical structures made from a common rubber-like material. When twisted, these mechanisms expand and contract, mimicking the way human tendons and muscles work. Pair that with an integrated electric motor, and you've got an artificial muscle that's not just strong, we're talking 17 times its own weight strong, but also capable of stiffening on demand, just like real muscle tissue. To prove this isn't just lab theory, the team built a full-scale robotic leg with 3D printed bones, elastic tendons, and three of these artificial muscles acting as the quadriceps, hamstring, and calf. The result? A limb that can bend its knee, absorb shocks, and even kick a volleyball off a pedestal, all while running on a portable battery. And here's the kicker. They embedded a flexible sensor in the leg so it can actually feel its own movements, adjusting resistance and motion in real time. This isn't only making robots move more naturally, it's making them safer and more adaptable in unpredictable environments. Think robots that can walk on uneven terrain without toppling over, or assist humans in physical tasks without being rigid and dangerous. The implications for humanoid robotics, prosthetics, and even industrial automation are huge. If this tech scales up, we might soon see robots that don't stop at imitating human motion. They perfect it. Now, let's switch from biomechanics to something even more surreal, a humanoid robot getting a PhD. That's right, Shanghai Theater Academy just enrolled Zhuiba-01, an AI-powered handsome male adult robot, as a doctoral candidate in drama and film. Its focus? traditional Chinese opera, script writing, and performance. Many called it a publicity stunt, but Zhuiba01 has a virtual student ID, a real advisor, renowned professor Yang Qingqing, and a full four-year curriculum that includes stage acting, motion control, and even set design. The idea isn't merely to teach the robot to recite lines, but to engage in what Yang calls aesthetic exchange across species. In other words, Zweba01 will not only mimic art, it'll collaborate on it, helping human classmates refine dance moves, brainstorm scripts, and even provide emotional support. It's programmed to play calming white noise when someone's stressed. Of course, not everyone's thrilled. Some students question whether a machine can truly master the expressive nuances of Chinese opera while others worry about resources being diverted from human PhD candidates. Dweba01, ever the diplomat, joked that flunking out could mean being downgraded or donated to a museum, which honestly sounds like a pretty cool backup plan. This isn't the first time robots have crossed into academia. Remember Bina48, the humanoid that aced a philosophy course in 2017? but it's the first time one's been granted full PhD candidacy in the arts. And with Japan's Alter 3 already conducting orchestras, it's clear AI is demanding a seat at the table. Whether Zhuiba 01 graduates or winds up as a museum exhibit, one thing's certain, the line between artist and machine is getting blurrier by the day. Finally, YouTube is rolling out a new AI-powered age verification system in the US and it's about to change how the platform handles content restrictions. Instead of relying solely on user input birth dates, YouTube's machine learning will now analyze multiple signals, like your account's age, watch history, and search behavior, to determine whether you're over or under 18. If the AI decides you're likely a teen, it will automatically enforce stricter settings. No personalized ads, digital well being tools turned on and safeguards to limit repetitive recommendations of certain content. The goal is to create a more age-appropriate experience, especially for younger users. 
But here's the catch. If the system gets it wrong and flags an adult as underage, you'll have to verify your age with a credit card or government ID to access restricted content. This isn't entirely new. YouTube has tested similar AI verification in other markets, but now it's coming stateside. While the tech could help protect younger viewers, it also raises questions about privacy and accuracy. After all, an algorithm guessing your age based on your viewing habits? That's a slippery slope. Either way, get ready. Your YouTube experience might soon come with an AI watchdog. So, from humanoid laundry assistants, dancing robots, and AI PhD candidates, tech is rewriting the rules right now. Which breakthrough shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments. Hit like if you enjoyed this, and subscribe so you don't miss our next dive into tomorrow's tech. Until then, keep watching AI and robotics.